Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, and I have a probably quick word to share. Um, uh, I was being reminded of Matthew 11, verse 3, um, after kind of a long day for me, but, um, so I'm going to share this verse and obviously whatever else he puts on my spirit to share. The verse is Matthew 11, verse 3, and it reads, And said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? Um, this is John the Baptist sending a message. Um, through disciples to Jesus and asking him literally are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another um, I feel like this is really a a really big word actually um, because if I'm not mistaken when John sent this message um, it was right before he was beheaded he had been in prison um, obviously for proclaiming Christ and um, he was very weary from um, his persecution and, and what he was suffering. Um, so it's interesting because I feel like this is a very powerful and perhaps even open for interpretation um, question that he asked. A valid question that he asked um, are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another um, he could have been asking this in desperation to to truly know like everything that I've been going through and this entire time that I've been proclaiming that you are the one, you are the Christ, you are the Messiah. Um, is it in vain or am I doing this because I really am supposed to be doing this? Um, it could have also been in a, in a A very literal and direct question like because he needs to know so he can let others know um, so in other words it's it, it's um, it's a question that many are asking right now um, and I think it's not only I think the bigger picture perhaps is many are very weary because of the battles that um, that we've been facing um, and the question might be how long do I have to continue to suffer? How long do I have to continue to um, stand up for what I believe? How long? How long before you come and rescue me? Um, I think another angle of this question might be those that are really confused about 
what's going on um, might be asking um, literally who am I supposed to trust right now um, is there someone who's going to save us or do we need to keep looking um, is what we are being told is that what's going to help and change our situation is is that what's going to bring the remedy and the rescue to our people our nation our world um so um i think i'm just sensing this perhaps in in the spirit i'm just sensing that this is this is a cry that many are feeling right now and um, I will say that um, and there's so many analogies I can use but it's always the hardest before it gets better um, and I know just per revelation that we are literally in the final push um, we're in the final stretch <laughs> we're in the fourth quarter we're in the ninth inning I mean whatever whatever you you whatever resonates with you to understand that it's like we're we're in the last hour before midnight you know we're, all of it um and so it is getting harder it's not um it, it's not a um, It's not a question of, is it getting harder? Um, and when you're in the middle of it, when you're in the, in the throes of it, um, and you become battle-worn and weary in spirit, it can seem um, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna make it to the finish line because you're tired um, because you've given everything you can uh, you've been hoping for the best you've been doing your part you've been um, praying and believing and for those of you that fast fasting whatever it is um, but I'm here to encourage you and remind you that he is the one and he is going to rescue. Um, and you need to be reminded of that because, as we know, things are continuing to get more challenging. Um, I'm in it with you. I know I've said that a lot, but I'm in it with you. Um, we all are battling in different capacities but we're in the same battle um, so I encourage you to just continue to press through it um, remember to stay grounded in in your spirit stay grounded stay um, well fed continue to feed your spirit with truth continue to um, filter your mind um, and guard your mind and your you know what you what you receive visually mentally um, audibly all of it just you know you are the gatekeeper to your own soul so exercise that right and exercise that authority to um, to guard against deception 
and remember the way you do that is through the filter of truth and remember that um, you're going to get through this whatever your this is you're going to get through it um, and remember that your rights are God given no one can take them from you so that is truth I hope you're doing well I think that's all for now and um, I'll get back on here whenever I have something else to share love you guys, bye